Just got in this new KTM uh, Terra Adventure jacket, uh, which is their like new for 2021 kind of adventure uh, touring outfit. Um, I don't ride a KTM, but sometimes the, as we know from like the BMW rally suits and some other um, adventure oriented suits from different manufacturers, you get really high quality gear, um, you know, made for a specific brand. And I'm kind of agnostic about that. Plus orange is an amazing color. Um, so just doing a quick review because I'm, I'm a little uncertain about some parts whether I'm going to keep this. So, uh, please excuse the tags, but what you have here is a very lightweight, full, uh, ripstop shell. And honestly, this is like, just starting right up top. This is a little bit of a concern for me is everything that's not your like beefy, um, impact areas. It, it's so lightweight ripstop nylon, it almost feels like maybe 70 denier or, or lower. Like it's, it's, um, it, it's some of the lightest weight fabric I've ever seen on a, um, on a motorcycle jacket. So that's a little concerning to me, to, to be honest. And, and one of the big, it is incredibly comfortable because of that, but that's a little bit of a worry. Um, otherwise, sizing wise, I'm a 5 feet 10. Uh, I am about 190 pounds right now. 43 inch chest, and I'm wearing a size large, large uh, on both. And I will say, um, I have a 34 inch waist. The pants are huge on me. I would definitely have to go down to a medium uh, to be comfortable, and they're a little long as well. The jacket's pretty good. Um, it's it's actually, a, a, as you can see, a relatively trim fit. It has side adjustment. They're absurdly tiny. I'm not really sure what that does, um, but it doesn't seem to really need too much adjustment there. I did have to snug the uh, armor adjuster is down a, a good bit to make it feel uh, good on me, which is also surprising. But part of that's because this is made to take a quilt of thermal liner that comes with it inside. So you have some um, cold weather adjustability if you're wearing layers underneath. Other um, kind of construction, all this orange here is actually a stretch fabric. Um, and when we get down to the pants, I'll show the stretch fabric down there as well. These pockets, you can see there's a pocket here and this orange one, these are, this is actually removable um, with a, just a blank area here. This side, uh, is it on this side? Let's see. Um, okay, you got a couple of hard and pockets here and actually in the little rabbit pouch on the back is the other interesting little feature they have is it's a removable pocket that has the waterproof liner stowed away. So the idea is that if you're riding and it uh, starts raining, this is one of those like throw over top rain shells. Um, so you can store it in the rabbit pouch or um, I thought that they showed it zipping off, but I think you can replace this pouch with this waterproof liner uh, pouch instead if you expect lots of off and on. All the zippers here are YKK, very nicely done. You have little TPR pulls at the um, wrists with a nice little finishing of like uh, neoprene at the end. Um, the collar is a magnet with two positions. Um, the only downside, or one of the many little tidbits, and I swear to God that these people should hire me to consult, but anyway. Uh, you'd expect a loop back, right? Well, and a magnetic loop back would be really nice. There's no loop back. Um, kind of the big feature here that they're talking about is, is something that I haven't seen on a jacket before though. And those are YKK's, um, quick burst zippers. And they're kind of neat. The, what you have is you have these little poles on the other side and you just grab and you, look, you pull and it just opens the whole zipper. And so you can loop this back for quick ventilation on the move. Um, and you have the same pulls up here. And what these do, and these are, uh, it feels like you're going to break something. Uh, you've got a couple of exhaust ports on top of the shoulders that you'll see when I spin around. So it's kind of a neat idea to get some uh, quick ventilation going if you're doing adventure riding. Obviously, it's always easy to pull your zippers here open on the move. But these big fold-down vents on the front and back can be kind of a pain to get to. Um, speaking of them though, you do have quite large pulls. And the other weird thing with this is like, if you want to convert it, it does take a fair bit of effort to get that uh, zipper going. And then it just opens and closes normally if you do that. 
but you have these huge fold-down panels backed with what looks like Scholler's Dynatech mesh, uh, which we're seeing show up a bunch of places again. Um, and these are some of the largest uh, zip-down panels I've seen on Jacket in a while, I think maybe next to the Dynase D Explorer. So that's pretty neat. And actually the, the mesh goes pretty far. It terminates like down here. Behind this you have, on the inside, you have um, chest protector pockets for optional Sastec chest protectors. You have Sastec uh, limb armor, um, one of their newer formulations. Um, it is here and here, level two, pocket for an optional Sastec back protector. Um, you obviously have these large arm vents, which are pretty common with a double zipper to get in and out. Um, and another little, I'm not gonna say fail, but like, come on. You don't, you have this really beefy material up top uh, and on, on the elbows. Well, you don't have it right here. And I don't know about you, but I have a feeling that if most of us crash, we're not crashing up here. We're crashing with impact um, here. So why a, a number of brands don't roll their reinforcements down here? I have no idea, but that, that is something I've seen quite a bit. Um, not a whole lot else up front. Again, at the back, you have these two upper shoulder uh, ventilation parts, and then you have a very large, that you should be able to see folded down, um, uh, ventilation panel as well in the middle. What I like about this is sometimes if you're using a hydration kit, this kind of large panel will get covered up. Well, you still have these two top of the shoulder um, vents to have air flow through. So it is nice. Um, opening it up briefly, just so you can see, I removed the thermal liner. It is a full sleeve thermal removal liner. Um, you can see how it's maybe a little bit longer, again, um, on me than I, I would necessarily prefer. And there's no side gusset, but again, it's, it's so lightweight, I don't think I would really notice it um, sitting down. You do have a nice waterproof pocket. The problem is the waterproof pocket goes all the way to here, which means half of your vent is blocked by a waterproof pocket. Um, here's your chest protector pockets on the inside. And otherwise it's a pretty plain interior. You have a uh, pant to jacket connection. You've got a shock cord. Um, your back protector pocket doesn't have any 3D mesh, which is kind of unfortunate. I would have liked to see that. Um, but you do, again, get big, chunky YKK zippers, and they are double zippers, so if you're sitting down and the jacket's kind of bunching up, you can uh, bring the zipper up a little bit. The snaps are kind of neat. Um, they're a different style of big, chunky snap, too, uh, which I thought was nice. Going down to the pants, you have an integrated belt, and it's actually magnetic. Um, so it just goes... Um, and then you have one of those neat little... Uh, slide adjust uh, uh, fasteners here vice a snap um, you actually this whole pant is not it's a zip but it's a gusseted zip so it has a removable waterproof and a removable thermal liner but the whole in it's all polyurethane coated so you're gonna get a moderate amount of water resistance and you're also it, your fly is gusseted so you're not gonna get any fluid through there or, or at least not without a lot of try um, you have tons of abrasion resistant stuff here. You've got leather on the inside. You have more abrasion resistant um, chunky nylon on the inside. I've got these over Garnet's new Dakar Adventure um, boots. And all of this lower area is actually stretch material. So this stretches quite nicely over a bulkier Adventure boot, but still stays nice and trim. You got a Velcro entry. Um, with a standard zipper. This is all micro Velcro as well, which is really, really nice. So you're not gonna have this catch on to your socks or liners or whatever and start pulling threads out. So that's a nice touch. Um, and then the final thing you have on the pants, uh, okay, you also have stretch material up the yoke to here and through the crotch, which is always nice. Um, and then you have this really big zip down panel. Um, over the whole top of the leg, which is again one of the larger mesh panels. And again, the funny thing is, this mesh you see here is probably the strongest abrasion resistant material on the whole pant. Um, I've seen objective testing of 
this Dynatec mesh, and it is really strong. In fact, uh, it could be used um, over most of the, the pants and give you better results than whatever this ripstop is. You have some more stretch material here on the side. And again, you can. this is a large, and it, it is just, it wants to fall off me. Um, the other downside is you don't have any secondary layering here on the seat. You just have that incredibly thin ripstop, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, otherwise, so removable liners, um, unbranded waterproof, I have no idea what they are or what rating they are. Um, you've got quilted liners for the top and bottom, and uh, comes with hip, uh, yeah, there, oh wow, huh, you can see how, how big this is on me. The hip armor is down here on a large, so I would definitely be a medium. No, that's that's not my hip, that's my thigh. Um, but you do have your same level two SAS tech there. Um, all in all, I, I think this is probably going back. I, I like the ideas they've tried here. I like these quick burst zippers. I like the use of Dynatech mesh, but uh, I mean, the weakness of the, the nylon is a little concerning to me. Um, I could go down the size to a medium uh, and I'd probably be okay in the pants. But it just, it's not the most beefy, confidence inspiring thing. I think if you're primarily doing enduro and soft roads, this is probably an amazing touring suit. It's super light and effective. If you're doing a mix, I'm not sure that this is really solid enough for long-term wear. And uh, yeah, hope this helps somebody.